What is up you guys, it's your boy Kishan, and today I have a quick info guide for you guys on the Caves and Cliffs update 1.17 from Minecraft, releasing summer this year, let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about it. What's in the update? The biggest change that is coming is obviously the improved caves and cliffs. This means that caves will now generate bigger than ever and they will have their own vegetation and their own biomes, which is really cool. Cliffs will now generate differently in various shapes and sizes. The new update will also feature new mobs, tools, plants, and a new redstone signal block, which is really cool. So let's break it down. Caves can range from small to extremely large rather than the tight spaces and the tunnels that we see now. Some caves have really cool features such as an underground lake. That's really cool. Not only are some caves growing in size, but some caves will also have their own biomes. There are three new cave biomes we can expect to see with the update, each having their own special feature. First up, we have the dripstone biome. There you will find stalagmites and stalactites, both of which can be compared to giant spikes and need to be cautious around, as if they fall on you or you fall on them, they will cause damage. Next up, we have the lush cave biome. This biome will fill the area with vegetation, grass and vines and such. The axolotls will also spawn here, as will the drip leaf plants. This biome will be located by the azalea trees that grow above it on the surface. Last, we have the deep dark biome. Here you will find the new mob, the warden. You will know you are close to this biome if any of the lights near you in the area start to go dim. Here you can also find the skulk sensor. Okay, now on to the mobs. First up, we have the goat. You guessed it, you can find these guys spawning on cliff sides and mountain sides. They do look friendly, however, if you make them upset, they do have a powerful charge and they can jump higher than other mobs. Following them, we have the wardens. These guys live in the deep dark biome, deep in the mines, and because they live so deep, these guys are actually blind so they cannot see you, but they will chase after you. They can tell where you are by your vibration. You can sneak past them if you are crouching, and if they happen to find where you are, you can deter them by throwing objects such as snowballs. Third, we have the axolotls. These guys are really friendly. You cannot find them in the ocean, but they can be found swimming in lush caves. If you happen to have an enemy nearby in the water, they will fight your enemy for you. These guys can also be picked up in a bucket to be stored for later on. All right, last but not least, this year, players voted for a new mob out of the Mooblooms, Isologgers, and the Glow Squid. The players have chosen the Glow Squid. Like axolotls, you can find these guys swimming in the caves rather than the ocean. Okay, what is a skulk sensor? Found in the deep dark, these blocks sense vibrations including placing and destroying blocks, footsteps, arrows, opening chests, and a lot of other sounds. These sensors can be blocked, placing a wool block in front of them, stopping them from sending out the signal. In addition, these wonderful sensors will trigger another sensor nearby if it is set off, meaning that they can transmit a redstone signal wirelessly without anything to connect them. In other words, get ready for wireless redstone. Okay, last little minor things coming in the update. Axolotls can be picked up in a bucket. A telescope can be crafted out of amethyst. Candles are a new light source. Powder snow is a new block. You can now fall through it. Lightning rods can be crafted from copper. Bundles are a new bag item to help you store and organize your inventory. And archaeological excavations are new structures where you can uncover historical items with a brush. Okay, you guys, that's going to be it for the update 1.17 set to release summer of this year. And you guys know the deal. If you enjoyed the content, if you guys enjoy Minecraft content, be sure to hit that like button and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys know the deal. Until next time.